you're buying any mums this fall, I want you to also buy and plant at least one native aster on your property. Unlike mums, native asters support all sorts of amazing native pollinators like this skipper butterfly and these bumblebees. And here are two mums my mom bought. You can see not a single pollinator is on any of these flowers. Native asters are a host plant for several dozen species of caterpillars, and there are a number of native specialist bees that require the pollen of native asters like this white oldfield aster to raise their young. I have about seven native species of asters in my yard, and one of my favorite species is this smooth blue aster. It's such a beautiful shade of purpley blue, and the leaves are nice and glossy. This aromatic aster loves the dry, hot soils on my hell strip here out front. Asters pair incredibly well with native goldenrods like this blue stem goldenrod or this zigzag goldenrod, and together these species will attract hundreds of native butterflies, bees, and caterpillars to your yard. If you don't have much sun, you got some shade, you can plant this one. This is white wood aster. Or this one, this is blue wood aster. And unlike mums, which most folks just throw out at the end of the fall, you can plant the native asters in your yard and they'll come back better each year. So try planting a few of these on your property this fall.